Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday morning, March the 6th. Still quite an active weather pattern across the nation. Another, another system is coming in off the Pacific Ocean. It will impact the west coast and the interior west over the next few days. Not at all as strong as the last system that pounded California and Washington and Oregon. Uh, the uh, real action across the country comes in the eastern third of the nation with multiple low pressure areas uh, riding up to the north and east producing some rain later today and tonight into tomorrow morning across the mid-Atlantic region and the northeast U.S. Most of that in the form of rain across the northeastern quadrant, maybe far uh, northern New England, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine could get snow out of this. And then another storm system impacts the mid-Atlantic northeast U.S later Saturday into Saturday night and Sunday morning. That will be followed by colder and windy conditions uh, for later Sunday into the day on Monday. Here's a current look at the radar loop from the College of DuPage weather website. A lot of rain pushing north and east. And you can see along the coast, there's kind of an enhanced area of uh, showers and maybe some embedded thunder as well. And this is the reason why there's some flood watches up across the coastal sections. I do agree with that. I think the signs point to the heaviest rain in the mid-Atlantic region over the next 12, 24 hours or so likely to come the farther east you go down along the coast of New Jersey, for example, Long Island, the Delmarva Peninsula. But the entire area gets a soaking rainfall, can be heavy at times, all the way inland into D.C. and uh, uh, the suburbs of Philadelphia, for example, and the suburbs of New York. This is all associated with low pressure that put down a pretty decent amount of rain across the southeastern U.S. It is pushing up to the north and east, and this follows yesterday's rain event, which had a, a decent amount of rainfall associated with it as well in the Mid-Atlantic region, and there will be another uh, system producing rainfall Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Well, let's take a look at last night's Canadian model run for a change here. Uh, the Zero Z conventional run of the Canadian model. We're looking at the 500 millibar uh, vorticity field. This is the area in the atmosphere where there may be some jet streaks and some rotation in the upper part of the atmosphere that leads to upward motion down at the lower levels. Here is the wave associated with that low pressure now pulling out of the southeastern uh, part of the nation right along. Uh, uh, this height line here to the north and east and all that rainfall uh, down to the south of the mid-Atlantic region is pushing up to the north and east and again some of the rain can be heavy at times with this system uh, primarily this afternoon tonight into the early part of uh, Thursday morning for that DC Philadelphia New York City car most of it will fall in the form of rain across New York and uh, much of New England you have to go all the way up to uh, maybe uh, northern half of Vermont and New Hampshire and upstate Maine to get some snow mixed in with this particular system. We see a couple other waves out here. This is the wave associated with that low pressure area moving towards the west coast. It will produce some more rainfall across California's low-lying areas and some snow in the higher elevations and then produce some more snow in the higher elevations of the Rocky Mountain states over the next couple of days but again not nearly as strong as uh, the just past weekend storm system. So let's move forward here and we'll see continuation of this active pattern. This Pacific Ocean storm dives south and east to the uh, southern part of California by later tonight into early tomorrow and it works its way all the way across the country and impacts the mid-Atlantic region over the upcoming week. Let's take a look here. Here's the current system as of tomorrow morning starting to slide off the, uh, the mid-Atlantic coastline by then but it comes that Pacific wave and it produces some snow in the Rocky Mountain states slides into the middle part of the nation by the early part of the weekend and then uh, pushes into the eastern third of the nation here and it's kind of combined with more uh, energy up in the northern stream some more uh, energy down in the southern uh, branch of the jet stream hanging back here and uh, the result will be probably a, a, a quite a rainy afternoon and nighttime in the mid-Atlantic region northeast U.S. Now there will be colder air starting to filter in that could produce some snow or at least a mix of snow again in the the interior sections of New England uh, by later Saturday night into Sunday morning. We'll take a look at that more closely with the surface forecast maps. Here we go all the way into Sunday morning and at this time 
there'll be a, a, a kind of a flood of colder air pouring in from the north and west, west on a pretty strong northwest winds in the mid-Atlantic region later Sunday into Sunday night and even into the day on Monday probably up to 40 mile per hour or so wind gusts out of the north or northwest on the backside of this system and it certainly turns colder probably near freezing in a lot of places in the mid-Atlantic region Sunday night early Monday morning places that have not been near freezing in uh, the, the last couple of weeks could uh, get down to that level later Sunday night into early Monday morning and certainly a below normal day on Monday let's go ahead into Monday and again there'll be some strong northwest winds temperatures probably holding in the 40s for the most part even into the uh, much of the I-95 corridor region certainly it will feel even colder than that with the potential of maybe 40 mile per hour winds out of the northwest on the backside of this system now for the most part we have an above normal or warmer than normal temperature pattern for the eastern half of the nation over the next let's say week or so maybe uh, on average colder than normal out across the western uh, part of the nation there will however be cold air masses that do make their way into the northeastern part of the nation albeit short-lived but none nonetheless there certainly are a couple of cold blasts coming to the northeastern part of the nation over the next week to two. Now, let's move forward here. We're starting off with, again, uh, well above normal at the 5,000 foot level. Uh, not quite a, as dramatic a difference with normal down at the lower levels in the mid Atlantic region because we have this persistent ocean flow of air and the, the ocean is uh, quite chilly this time of the year relative to all the other months of the year. It kind of bottoms out in temperatures in the western Atlantic this time of the year. So you have a low level flow of east, southeast uh, winds here in the mid-Atlantic region. That'll kind of put a cap on temperatures today. Of course, so will the clouds and rain. And here we move forward into the day on Thursday. And again, uh, generally colder than normal out across the western states. This is associated with that Pacific Ocean storm system and still uh, warmer than normal out across the eastern half of the nation going into the weekend and this cold air starts to kind of spread to the east and it does reach the mid-Atlantic region certainly we get some colder than normal conditions by later in the day Sunday Sunday night especially and on Monday uh, a cold blast it'll be a short-lived cold blast basically later Sunday into the day on Monday but uh, temperatures again could got, get down to freezing or below in uh, much of the mid-Atlantic region late Sunday night early Monday morning and this will be combined with strong northwest winds so the wind chills will become a factor as well here we go into the day on Monday but again a rather short-lived outbreak of colder than normal air by the time we get to next Tuesday and even next Wednesday this is the week from right now similar conditions with with uh, above normal temperatures in the eastern two-thirds of the nation and maybe some colder than normal air across the western third of the U.S. Well let's wrap up with the surface forecast maps again using the zero Z run of the Canadian model here's that low pressure system at the surface here in the southeastern U.S. and here's the next Pacific Ocean storm again uh, uh, much weaker than the weekend weekend storm system will move forward here and all of this rain is coming up to the north and east and again notice uh, maybe a heavier amounts across coastal sections from Long Island down across New Jersey Delmarva Peninsula uh, this uh, the rainfall amounts by the time we get to midday on Thursday may look higher in those coastal sections and hence some flood washes have gone up across coastal sections of New Jersey for example but pretty much anywhere in the mid-Atlantic region can see some brief heavy downpours with this system. It's stronger than the last system. This is the forecast map for this evening. California, south, uh, southwestern part of California getting uh, some rainfall and this moves up to the New England by tomorrow morning and you have to go way up northern New England for some snow across let's say the northern part of Maine by tomorrow morning and uh, the, the steadiest heaviest rain certainly pulls off the middle and coastline by early tomorrow now this Pacific Ocean storm pushes into the western US causes some snow in those higher elevations of the Rocky Mountains maybe some rain in the middle of the nation by late tomorrow and all of that pushes to the north and east and here we go by Saturday morning 
another storm system heading to the Mid-Atlantic. It's been a very wet winter in the Mid-Atlantic region and the Northeast U.S. And here we go by Saturday morning. Again, n virtually no cold air out ahead of it. it. Looks like primarily a rain event, probably focused on Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. D.C., Philadelphia, New York City. This is the midday forecast map. Now notice also another storm system starting to move into the Pacific Northwest later on this weekend. And here we go by uh, Saturday evening and finally late Saturday night into Sunday morning. The cold front associated with this system sweeps to the eastern seaboard. On the back side there will be increasingly strong northwest winds. Snow on the front side of the storm confined to northern New England, but then we get to the back side of the storm system, and here we go by late Saturday, excuse me, late Sunday, Sunday evening time frame. Strong northwest winds, cold enough air here for all snow in the upstate region of New York and western Pennsylvania. Is uh, kind of some lake effect snow mixing in here as well, and these are pretty strong northwest winds on the back side. Uh, of the storm late Sunday into Sunday night and even into the day on Monday. And that's because this system really intensifies down to a 983 low by early Monday morning. Strong northwest winds, a rather tight pressure gradient pattern setting up here and that will uh, help to generate 40, maybe 50 mile per hour wind gusts out of the northwest later Sunday, Sunday night, into the day on Monday. This is Monday and still very windy conditions here setting up for early next week, Monday, uh, and Sunday night and Monday in the Mid-Atlantic, in the Northeast U.S. Still some precipitation out across the Pacific Northwest. Now, as we mentioned before, the cold shot into the Northeast, rather short-lived. We get high pressure moving in by next Tuesday and then by next Wednesday, Wednesday certainly back to above normal conditions across much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation with uh, relatively dry conditions nationwide a week from right now. This is next Wednesday all the way out to March the 13th. That's it for now for ArcFieldWeather.com. This has been meteorologist Paul Dorian.